OK, so today we're going to look at unlocking developer options on your 4K Pro ONN box or Google TV running Android 12 and why it might not be what you were looking for in the first place. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So I've got this Google TV box. It's a Watch ONN 4K Pro and the box is actually running Android version 12. So let's just have a look and double check that. Yep, Android TV OS version 12. So how do we unlock developer options on here? So press the home button. So we're all back to the same part, the, uh, the home page, and then go across to the settings cog just over there, top right, and then middle button on the remote control, and then go down to system. Go across and down to about, and then across again to the right, and just keep going down until you get to Android TV OS build. And then just keep pressing the middle button on the remote control. Keep tapping it like a mouse until you see the message, you're now a developer. Once you've seen that, press the left hand side of the remote and go down to developer options, which is just below power and energy and just above cast and then go across to the right there and there you've got some options. Now, one thing you might notice as you're going through these options, you might be looking for a section that says something along the lines of allow apps from unknown sources. Well, unlike the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube, that is not under developer options. You don't need to reveal developer options to get to that. I have made a video which shows you how to unlock your Google TV or watch ONN 4K Pro. Have a look for this video on my channel and that will tell you how to allow apps from unknown sources. But in the meantime, whilst we're here in developer options, what goodies do we have that you're mo most likely to use? Well, some apps might require you to turn on USB debugging. So that's in there. So it says here, USB debugging is intended for development purposes only. Use it to copy data between your computer and your device. Install apps on your device without notification and read log data. So if you're happy with that or an app you know and trust needs you to turn on allow USB debugging, then turn it on by going to OK there. If you want to revoke a USB debugging authorization, so if you've installed an app and you no longer want it to have access to USB debugging, then you can revoke that from there. And this in actual fact will revoke all authorizations. So if you do have other apps that require USB debugging, then you may have to authorize them again after clearing that. Other things you're likely to need here is possibly to speed things up. Now, on here, you've got here Windows animation scale. So what you can do is you can actually speed things up on here by turning animations off. All these animation, here's Windows animation scale, transition animation scale, you can turn these off. Also animator dur duration scale, you can turn that off as well. And that will really speed things up. As you can see, there's no animation now in the menus, it's it's instant. But you might find that some apps are hard to control after, after setting this. So if you do find you have problems controlling certain apps, then you can go back to these options here and turn them back on to animation scale one, or you could try 0.5, but the default was one on all of those. Now, another option that you might possibly want to use here. If you're expanding your storage on your Google TV, then there's an option down here which enables you to be able to allow apps to be installed on external storage. So some apps were written to just be installed on the internal storage, meaning that they'll take up space on the internal storage and won't utilize any external storage that you plug into your device. Now this here, by turning this on, says it makes any app eligible to be written to external storage, regardless of manifest value. So if the programmer of the app or the author of the 
the app has said, nope, I only want this app to be installed on the internal memory rather than the external memory, then this will ignore that and it will allow an app to be installed on an external USB device. Now, the consequences of this are you might find that the app functions extremely slowly installed on an external device or may not function at all. In this case, then turn this feature off uninstall the app and then reinstall it and it should reinstall it on internal memory. So there you go. If you were looking to allow apps from unknown sources, as I say, look at my other video, which shows you how to unlock your Google TV or watch ONN 4K Pro. There should be a link to it somewhere down there in the description. And whilst you're down there in the description, then please, if you like this video and it helped you out, then please consider making a donation to this channel by hitting that thanks button. Or if you can't do that, as I say, down in the description, have a look. I've got some great links down there for you. If you wanna have a look through my Amazon shop, you're looking for a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, Fire Stick accessories, or even looking for a VPN. We've got some great links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see anything think whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. That's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon. Whilst you're here, don't forget to have a look around. If you want to get to the front page of my YouTube channel in any browser, go to youtube.com forward slash Chris R. Waite. That's youtube.com forward slash Chris R. Waite. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button from that front page or when you're looking at any of my videos, hit that subscribe button just beside my channel name. Also, please, if you do like the video, hit that like button. And if you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, hit that share button and share it on your social media timelines. Subscribing, liking, and sharing really does help support this channel. It enables me to spend more time researching and bringing you these great videos. Also, please don't forget to check me out on X. That's x.com forward slash CW Tech, where you can find out about all my latest video releases on any platform.